Smart rings have become all the rage over the last couple of years. I've been using the Aura ring since 2017, and about six months ago, I came across a promising contender called Ultra Human. If you're trying to decide between either of these rings or are just considering getting a smart tracker to begin with, this video is for you. I'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison to help you figure out which, if any, is right for you, and I'll share my thoughts along the way. In case we haven't met yet, I'm Nick Urban, and I'll be your guide to breaking down and understanding the best tools of modern science and the forgotten health practices of ancient wisdom. Let's get started. The first thing you'll notice when comparing the two rings is that the actual design of them is extremely similar. From the size to the weight to the bevel, both look and feel just like a slightly larger ring. Under the hood, they both use a combination of LED sensors, motion detectors, and other sensors to track your health and wellness vitals, such as heart rate, heart rate variability, skin temperature, blood oxygenation, resting heart rate, sleep stages, sleep timings, and overall movement throughout the day. Both use their own proprietary algorithms to take that data and convert it into actionable steps for you as the end user to make changes in your life. While neither of these are very solid activity trackers, you'll want something more like a Whoop or a Garmin or even an Apple Watch for that type of thing. They both offer some rudimentary workout tracking and movement tracking. Aura is a little more passive in this regard, so I would give the edge to Aura for activity tracking. Perhaps most importantly though, is the accuracy of the overall data. I had an Apple Watch that I used and from my own experience and talking to plenty of others, the data I get from it just isn't very accurate, so I completely stop relying on it for anything to do with sleep specifically and even HRV doesn't seem to be up to par with some of the other devices in the market. Even though Apple's now releasing their new vitals feature for Apple Watch, it's still far behind the Aura and the Ultra Human. Since I got my Aura ring back in 2017, I've been pretty unimpressed by the very slow development and the overall minor changes they've made since then. So much so that I actually recorded a separate video on why I no longer recommend recommend Aura for most people. Since 2017, they've only made one major update to the app in which they changed the user interface, and that was quite recent, within the last few months. Ultra Human, on the other hand, hasn't been around nearly as long. They are an Indian startup, but they are innovating much faster and releasing new features and are actually giving Aura some good competition. For example, when I got the Ultra Human Ring, I pretty quickly requested they add airplane mode as a feature, and within about a month and a half, two months of my request, they had prioritized it and decided to implement it. They both have airplane mode now. Ultra Human released what they call their cardiovascular age long before Aura did, as well as a calculation for VO2 max. Now Aura has that also, but Ultra Human rolled it out way before they did. One of the downsides with Ultra Human is that there is currently no way to record an on-demand HRV measurement. In Aura, this was called their moment feature, but even with Aura, when you recorded an on-demand measurement, you had to be perfectly still, and if you moved at all, you would not get a reading. It just wouldn't give you a score, and you couldn't actually see what your heart rate and heart rate variability were doing in the moment. So it wasn't truly an on-demand measurement. At least if you're trying to do HRV biofeedback, it wasn't really suitable. Some of the other features that I'm liking about Ultra Human include what they call their caffeine window. And throughout the day, it shows when, based on your data, you are most likely to be able to enjoy coffee, a bunch of different types of tea, and other drinks that contain caffeine. And as you get later in the day, that window closes and it tells you to stop consuming caffeine and to start winding down. They also have what they call their, your stress rhythm and your circadian rhythms. And this helps you better understand how your hormones and different things change throughout the day to help you more strategically plan your activities, your work, and your relaxation to improve overall health and, of course, sleep. Both of them have social leaderboards, so you can compare scores with your friends should you choose. On Aura, they call it circles, and in Ultra Human, they call it zones. Where Ultra Human blows Aura out of the water, though, has to be with their visualizations and reports. The entire app and the dashboard look much more elegant in Ultra Human than they do in Aura. Let me pull it up to show you what I mean. 
So right here, you can see what the homepage looks like. You can see a movement score at a glance. You can see your stress rhythm and when you should be stressed and shouldn't be stressed, along with a description of what to do about it. And you can click into any of these should you choose. So you can see the metrics that are related to whatever score that is. So if I click into stress rhythm, I can understand how much time I've spent in each of these zones and what to do about that. You can see your recovery score, your sleep score, your sleep debt. Wow, that's a very high heart rate right now. You can see your cardio age, your temperature deviations, all this stuff right here at a glance. And you can click into any of them and see longer term trends. You can see that Ultra Human also detected a walk that I went on this morning. And to add it, all you have to do is click the add button just like that. And you can get stats about your movement. And to check out other days, you can just swipe to the left. All right, that is Ultra Human. Now let's pull up Aura. So this is the latest Aura app. And you can see they've reconfigured it now. So you can see your core scores at the top. So they actually totally disagree on my current heart rate. It could be that I just took the ring off and put it back on. It needs a second to normalize. You can see the Aura has now added information about your stress. And you can see a bit of a timeline here about what's going on. And there's a lot of options over in the bar. You can see trends. Aura does a bit better with the trending and tagging than Ultra Human and both now allow you to measure your blood oxygen saturation. And if you want to know more about any of these categories in Aura, you now just click into whatever option, whatever one you want to explore, and you can get details about all your scoring. So they've improved their app a lot, but it's just not as clean or effective at interpreting as Ultra Human. Plus, Aura gives you very limited recommendations, whereas Ultra Human actually sends you push notifications telling you exactly what's going well and exactly what to change if you enable that feature. So because Ultra Human is actually a lot more actionable and helps you align the fundamentals of overall health, I'm going to give the edge to Ultra Human here. One of the main reasons people choose these smart rings to begin with is because they are small, compact, they don't have a screen. It's easy just to put them on and forget about them. But that really only matters if they last. If you have to put this thing on the charger every night, it's just not convenient. I have noticed that Aura, with all the features on, lasts a little bit longer than the Ultra Human, about one day longer. But that also depends if you enable what Ultra Human calls their smart plugs. These are basically plugins or extensions that you activate for specific things that you want to track. And it's not enabled by default to help you save battery life as well as to minimize confusion. But if you want to, you can get a lot more detail and granularity on specific things and goals when you enable power plugs. So you can see right here, these are the power plugs I currently have enabled. And you can see there's one for screen time, one for vitamin D, for circadian alignment. I definitely suggest the circadian alignment. Caffeine window doesn't apply to me, but there are pregnancy insights and cycle tracking. They also have some new ones coming up about cardio adaptability and AFib detection, as well as jet lag and weight loss. Vitamin D is pretty cool because it measures how much time you are outside exposed to sunlight. So that can help you naturally get your vitamin D levels up without getting sunburned. If you really want to max out your battery life on Ultra Human, then you'll want to enable what they call low power mode, but that will interfere with certain power plugs like the cardio adaptability one because it works by taking fewer measurements throughout the day and reducing the push notification nudges it sends to you. But when I enable low power mode, it does last almost as long as Aura. Keep in mind that I've gone through a bunch of Aura rings and this latest generation three ring I have from them is about a year old. So the battery life would naturally be a bit shorter by this point, but it's definitely not the full five to seven days that I've seen claimed online. Both tend to last about three to four days. Aura claims that their newest generation four ring will last up to eight days. And having used generation two and three extensively, I can say that there's no way that will actually pan out in the real world. Because the battery is a bit stronger on Aura, I'm gonna give the edge to Aura here. Now, another thing that I just alluded to that I have to bring up is that none of these rings are bulletproof. They all have their issues and they do fail from time to time. I've had, I think, four or rings fail on me at this point <laughs> since 2017. And I have had one ultra human ring fail on me and they claimed it was a hardware issue that's long since been resolved. But it's disappointing to see that having only had it for six months, I've already had one fail. But here's the issue. But when they did fail, I had terrible experiences going 
going through Aura support. Aura support was great in the beginning, in 2017, 2018, 2019, but it took me weeks to actually get a replacement. When I had an issue with Ultra Human, the same night that I reached out to them, they had already sent me a new one. It was very easy to go through them. So because the durability of, that, of both of them isn't phenomenal, I'm gonna give a slight edge to Ultra Human here because they made it far easier to actually get up and running and tracking my data again. Because if you have a two week gap in your data, it's just not that useful of a tool. And speaking of durability, neither ring scratches all that easily compared to how much wear and tear I've put on them. My Ultra Human seems to have fared better than my Aura. So I will also give the edge to ultra human here. Now, one of the other huge factors that really is making ultra human a standout platform, in my opinion, is their integration with other systems. Ultra human now offers a continuous glucose monitor, and you can even order blood lab testing directly through their app. At least when I was in India, that's what I did. And it was very comprehensive, yet still cheaper than any blood testing I could find in the US. They're also releasing a home monitoring solution, which will help you better understand and optimize the air in your home. All of this data integrates together into their one app and it gives you the more comprehensive view of your overall health. So what Ultra Human is doing is they're really building a platform that you're not getting with Aura. So the future of Ultra Human to me looks a lot more exciting than the future of Aura. By the way, when they announced their V4 updates and upgrades, they are changing just about nothing except for the battery life of the Aura. Further affirming that they are not innovating at the pace that they should to retain the top spot in the market. Now, which ring should you choose? Well, if you're looking for a proven ring that's been around, there is next to no chance they're gonna go under. You don't mind having a little bit slower of a customer support experience. You don't really need the latest bells and whistles, and you don't mind paying a recurring membership fee on top of the price of the device, then you might wanna consider Aura. On the other hand, if you are looking for a system that gives you beautiful visualizations, easy to digest data with actionable steps you can use to improve your health, you're interested in the 180 degree total view should you choose eventually to try a CGM or their air monitor or their home monitoring solution, or you just want a cheaper device that doesn't have a recurring membership fee, the Ultra Human is gonna be your better pick. Personally, I'm only still using my Aura because Ultra Human has not yet built out a way to import historical Aura data into the Ultra Human ring. I hate to say it, but once they do, I'm probably gonna be ditching the Aura ring. And if you wanna check out the differences between the two, I have written several reviews on the different Aura models, as well as a new review of the Ultra Human Ring, which I will put in the description for this video. And if you just can't decide on either of them, there is a rumor that Apple will be creating their own smart ring, so you could stay tuned for that, but it won't be out for probably at least another year and a half, maybe two years. I'm curious though, if you've used any of these smart rings or you've encountered deal breakers in either them. I'd love to know your thoughts. Drop a comment below. If you want to see more product reviews and my thoughts on popular biohacking gear, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. So when I went about evaluating the accuracy of these devices, I used several different things. First, I used my intuition. How am I feeling? If a device tells me I slept terribly, but I wake up feeling great, I often know better. Then I used the Ultra Human Ring, I used the Aura Ring, I used the Apple Watch, and I even have an eight sleep. And I checked to see how all of the scores correlate. Since I was testing the Ultra Human and the Aura, I primarily relied on the 8 Sleep to understand my data and my intuition, but I did spot check a couple times with the Apple Watch too. And from extensive testing, six months of nightly tests, I found that the Ultra Human was considerably more accurate night in and night out than the Aura Ring. The other devices I also used to test this showed the same thing. The 8 Sleep would more closely align with the way 
way I felt and so would Ultra Human. Aura, on the other hand, would sometimes give me a sleep score of 60 when the others were giving me an 85 and I felt great. Conversely, a couple times Aura gave me a high score in the 80s and the others scored me a little bit lower in the 70s and I didn't feel as good. So overall, I just found that the Ultra Human was more accurate than Aura. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want more biohacks and industry news, all of the resources I've mentioned in this video will be in the description below. Until next time, be an outlier.